All right, Alex, so I got to ask you off the bat, just growing up, who were some of your favorite players? Oh, man, I was a big Chipper Jones fan growing up, big Atlanta Braves guy. Uh, that whole 90s, you know, early 2000s team was awesome. Uh, I think as far as, like, the pitching side, uh, I really like John Rocker, too, coming out of the bullpen. Okay. I think I was a little crazy. Did you like the how he ran? I, lo I loved everything about him. You know, I, see, I saw him in Kansas City one time. I remember that's where I grew up, and just fell in love with everything about him, you know. Jonathan Papelbaum was the one I, I look up to, too, so... Uh, I like the wider variety of guys. I like it. I like it. So, Atlanta Braves. You grew up liking them. So, I got to ask you. I do this course called Baseball Mount Rushmore. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to need you to name me four Braves. Your all-time Braves for the Mount Rushmore. Your opinion. All-time Braves. That you watch. From, 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 from growing up? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I would say Chipper's on there. Andrew Jones. Uh, you got to go. Wow, you can't. I might need five. Put, we'll put, give you an extra. Okay, you know, you got to put Maddox, Glavin, and Schmolte on there. I, th I think those are the five I'd put on there. I, I like that. I like that. So, let's LSU. Obviously, being a Tiger, you play with two guys. Well, with one guy in particular, Alex Bregman. Yeah. So, being an LSU Tiger, can you talk about that? Because, obviously, very great baseball school as well as football. Can you mm -hmm. talk about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, first off, go Tigers. You know, you got to show the love down to people in the bayou. Uh, we had a lot of fun down there. You know, uh, Coach Maneri put a great program down there. Coming from Skip, growing up and stuff, so uh, it was a lot of fun. You know, you learned a lot uh, how to handle yourself as a as a pro, almost at LSU. And how to just go about your business and, and put in the daily work to, to what it takes to, to be a big leaguer. So, you know, I learned a lot from Bragg and uh, the guys coming before him, Nola, Gosman, all those guys. And, uh, it's, just, it's, a, it's a fraternity over there. It's a brotherhood. So, um, it's awesome to, to go back and see those guys working there out, out, out there now and stuff. So, it was, it was awesome. All right, love it, love it. So. MLB to show the video game. As a video game player, I always ask players, when you see yourself on a video game, what do you think? So I got to ask you, seeing yourself on the game like MLB to show, what do you think about that? You know, it's something uh, I used to create my guy all the time growing up, you know. I think my guy had like 900 homers. He played in, he played in Boston for like 27 years or something. He just was hitting homers all the time. So, uh, no, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool to see yourself on there. Uh, you got kids that DM you and stuff and say they use your card and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, something you kind of always dreamed of and just – it's a pretty cool thing for sure. I like it. I like it. So, with the Tigers, obviously, there's a legend that you probably watched growing up, Miguel Cabrera in this clubhouse. Can you talk about being a teammate of his and what he like his career and what you've oh. been around him? So, uh, funny story. Miggy actually tossed the ball up to me and my buddy when we were in Kansas City growing up, and we were fighting it over at the dugout and it went back into the dugout, so we never got it. But uh, he flipped us a ball. I was probably 12 or 13 years old back when he was making that run. And, uh, the guy's a legend. He's a walking legend. Um, it's, it's an honor to share the clubhouse with him. He's a great player, even better teammate uh, through and through. He's, he, he's the guy. and uh, it's, it's pretty cool to, to be around and learn from a guy like that who's been through so much in this game and has done so much for this game and uh, for you know these Tiger fans. It's, it's a true honor to share the clubhouse for sure. So with this Tiger team, a bunch of young guys, a lot of potential here. What do you see from the growth in this team going forward? Yeah, you know, uh, we're taking our licks. Uh, but all great teams do, and that's how you learn. That's how, that's how uh, the best learning in, in, this, in this game is done, and in sports in general, is you got to take your licks and learn from them and move forward. You know, uh, there's a lot of talent here. We just got to put it all together, keep working, trusting each other, and uh, keep keep growing together. And I think you're going to see something special when you come soon. I like that. So I had this question called Walk Up Music or Coming to the Mound Music. So obviously, you know, with the Mets, their closing has a special mm -hmm. theme. So I got to ask you if you had the opportunity to have someone create a song for you, it's named after you. Any artist, <laughs> and you could do. Who would be the artist that you would pick? Oh. It's named after you. It's your song, oh, self-titled. I'm a big Lupe Fiasco fan. You know, yeah. I think Lupe's. I think Lupe's lyrics are. He's goaded in that sense. Okay. Uh, man, I don't know. Muse does a really good job with their with their uh, with their music too. There's a couple songs that I think would would uh, do well. I actually, they just dropped an album today. I listened to a couple stuff last night. So. I don't know. Maybe, maybe a collab between those two would be sick. That'd be dope. Shout yeah. out to Lupe. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I ain't thinking for about sure. that. For sure. Lupe's good. a goat, for sure. You were the first person that had Lupe. I like that, man. I like that. <laughs> you already my number one on that I one. appreciate that. Okay, okay. Last question for me. So, baseball movies. This is like our fanatics of you question. Mm -hmm. So, what is your favorite baseball movie of all time? Oh, man. Probably Major League. Okay. Uh, I watched Major League a lot growing up. A lot of adversity in that movie. They have to go overcome it to win the championship. I, I like the storyline behind it. I like that. So if you were in the movie, 
and you had to get an actor to play you in your movie. Let's say if it was just another major league and they had you in there as your person, who would you want to play you in the movie today as an actor? <laughs> oh man, these are good questions. <laughs> these, are, these are real questions. Um, I had to pick somebody, man. Ooh, that's a good one. That's on the spot. Yeah. That's on the spot for sure. Uh, I don't know, DiCaprio it, it does, does such a good job with everybody, you know. I've never seen a movie I didn't like by him, you know. Shout out to DiCaprio too. Yeah. All right, man, Alex, man, well, congratulations. Keep doing your thing out there, man. Look forward to seeing you for many years doing your thing out there, man. I appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you for your time.